From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. This is the MYN Katana. This is my microphone. This is the microphone I spend all summer just kind of tinkering with. So uh, this started out life as a Nakamichi CM300. And these microphones are pretty cool. I, I gutted this thing, and the, the capsule on it's really great. But I gutted it, the electronics are garbage. And I gu <laughs> gutted it, and I replaced the circuit. I had these done over this summer. I had these made. So drop-in circuit for the, uh, the Nakamichi to turn it into something pretty amazing. So yeah, I... Um, and so I took my circuit and I put it into this mic. And you get this result. And I'm pretty pleased with it. So the whole idea behind this was, uh, again, I think that if you've watched this channel enough, you know that I'm not really that much of a fan of the 416. I find that the 416 has like a weird uh, EQ scoop. It's pre-EQ'd for tape. And so I wanted something that was more linear, that had a little bit more uh, fullness in the mid-range. And I think I achieved that. So what I want to do is here, real just real quick, I want to put it up against the ethos first. So, um, um, all right. Lease a Rogue Sport for one eighteen a month, a Sentra for one twenty eight a month, or a twenty twenty three Pathfinder for just one seventy eight a month. All right. Now here's the ethos. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this. Here we go. Here's the ethos. So you can tell the ethos for me, has a, has a similar bite, but there's a little bit more uh, woofy, uh, kind of, uh, there's a little bit more thickness, I think, in the low, low mids. Lease a Rogue Sport for $118 a month, a Sentra for $128 a month, or a 2023 Pathfinder for $128 a month. All right. So um, let's try the, uh, how about the Icon Pro? All right, so as you can hear, the Icon Pro has a completely different sound. Now, they all have the same EQ on them. It almost sounds like the Icon Pro has a, has a, big, has a big hole carved out of it compared to these two, right? When you hear them like this. Lease a Rogue Sport for $118 a month, a Sentra for $128 a month, or a 2023 Pathfinder for just $178 a month. All right, so I think these are very, very different microphones, all three of them. So again, here is the, uh, the Icon Pro. Um, plus, we have financing. Plus, we have financing as low as one point nine percent and zero down available. All right, back to the ethos. I think. I think, obviously, the Icon Pro is not a <laughs> is not a commercial microphone. So, plus, we have financing as low as one point nine percent and zero down available. All right, and back on the katana. Plus, we have financing as low as 1.9% and zero down available. So, it, come on. I mean, so it just sounds a little bit more uh, in the pocket for, for my voice. And so whether or not uh, this is a microphone that I can, I can fully develop into something that I can offer to people, that's a whole different story. Because the problem is... It's, it's easy. I mean, I could get a million of these circuits. These just drop in. I could get a million of these made, right? The problem is, and the capsule, you can still get this capsule from Primo. The problem with mass producing this microphone, you know, and the thing is, I, I wouldn't even mind it if I could only make 50 of them, right, to sell, like a limited edition version. So the problem is, like, just really, just, just, making this body happen seeing seeing this body um would be uh is is beyond my uh, my abilities at the moment so maybe someday in the future <laughs> some entity someone will come along and be like hey we can help you with that and the other thing too that's really cool is like so these so these microphones right the nakamichis right these were made by primo in the 70s and the early 80s and so yeah again the circuit is garbage but the, the body is really well made and the capsule's really great. And really, you get this head basket, right? So this came off of a, a, another microphone made by... So these were OEM'd by Primo for Nakamichi, for TIAC, for Tascam. So they come with this head basket that, comes right, that goes right on top of the mic for like if you're interviewing people, like, you know, <laughs> stick this in your face. Uh, so 
these are great because they, it also does, it's just a great uh, plosive protector. So it works as a pop filter, but it also adds something nice to it. So I really like the combination of these. And again, I, uh, I wish I could offer these to everyone, but I can't at the moment. So we'll, maybe we can make something happen with that in the future. But I just wanted to compare the Katana with the Ethos and the Icon Pro. Because as I, as I, uh, as I said, my process is to, uh, is to abandon a mic for a short period of time. Forget it even exists. And then reintroduce it and be like amazed or, you know, not so amazed by what I find when I plug it back in. So as we journey back to the Katana, I'm amazed. And I think that this is going to, uh, this is going to get some work this week for sure. All right, so what do you think? The MYN Katana. Leave a comment. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.